Factoring polynomials. Our objective is to use the factor theorem to determine factors of a polynomial, as well as factor the sum and difference of two cubes. Who uses this? Ecologists may use factoring polynomials to determine when species might become extinct. Let's start with the factor theorem. For any polynomial, p of x, and you have x minus a is a factor of p of x, if then only if p of a equals 0. Let's look at an example. So because p of 1 equals 1 squared minus 1, which equals 0, x minus 1 is a factor of p of x, which equals x squared minus 1. All right, so let's determine whether a linear binomial is in fact a factor. So let's start with a. My suggestion is, why don't we use synthetic substitution? We learned it in the last section, and many of you seem to like it. So we have a minus 3. So it's already in that form, so we know we're going to have a positive 3. And then we have 1, positive 2, and negative 3. So using synthetic division, we have 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Adding vertically, you get 5, 3 times 5 is 15, and adding vertically leaves you with positive 12. So therefore, P of 3 must in fact be 12. P of 3 does not equal 0. P of 3 equals 12. So therefore x minus 3 is not a factor. Twelve, not zero. P of 3 needs to equal 12, or needs to equal zero, not 12, so therefore, not a factor. All right, so let's try b. So we'll do the same thing. So we've got ourselves a negative 4, and then we've got to the fourth, to the third, we need a placeholder for our squared, and we have x and then our constant. So we have 2, 8, 0, 2, and 8. And synthetic division, here we go. Or substitution, rather, sorry. So we have 2, which leaves us with negative 8. Adding vertically brings us to 0. 0 times negative 4 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. And then we have 2 plus 0 is 2. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And 8 plus negative 8 is 0. So p of negative 4 equals 0. Remainder of 0, if you want to think of it that way, means that x plus 4 is a factor. So yes, x plus 4 is a factor. Let's look at factoring by grouping. So when you factor by grouping, you want to group things together. And you group the signs that go with it. So we have our x to the third plus 3x squared. And this needs to go with your 4x, because it's a minus 4x. You don't want to be distributing that minus. That wouldn't make sense, because that changes the value of your minus 12. So that gets grouped together as well and you need some sort of a symbol that doesn't change anything, so a plus sign. All right, what can we factor out of x to the third and positive 3x squared? Well, the answer to that would be x squared, leaving us with an x plus 3. And now let's look at our second half. We have positive, or plus a, we have a negative 4x minus a 12, so we can factor out a negative 4 leaving us with x plus 3. This works out nicely. So we have a change in color. So we've got x plus 3. And then we have our two pieces that we distributed, x squared minus 4. However, this is not completely simplified. 
That's a difference of two squares. Perfect square, perfect square, separated by a subtraction sign. So our final answer is going to look like x plus 3, because that doesn't change. And this can be separated out to x plus 2, x minus 2. Difference of two squares, different sides. And now that is factored. So now let's look at factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. So the sum of two cubes. We have a cubed plus b cubed. This is the same thing as saying a plus b times the quantity a squared minus a times b plus b squared. If you had a difference of two cubes, you have a cubed minus b cubed, for example, difference of two cubes. So your first one's going to be a minus b. And then your second quantity is going to be a squared plus ab plus b squared. There's not really any easy trick or way to remember which one has which signs. You just got to kind of memorize it. I like to think of it as, since it's the difference of two cubes for this one, the first one is subtraction, this one's the sum, so the first one is addition. If it starts with addition, then it's a minus plus. If it starts with a subtraction, then it's plus plus. So let's practice. So we want to factor each expression. Well, that doesn't have a cubed, but we can factor this out. So let's look at what can we factor out of 5x to the 4th and 40x. Well, we can factor out a 5x. That leaves you with x cubed plus 8. Well, we have a different or a sum of two cubes. We're going to just kind of keep writing our 5x as we're kind of ignoring its existence right now. So we can rewrite this if it helps you to see it. x to the third plus 2 to the third. 2 to the third and 8 are the same thing. So if it helps you to see it easier, you can always write it this way. And now we can write it out like we had seen it here. So the sum of two cubes. So we're basically going to take our a and b value and substitute them in for here. So 5x still chills on the outside. So now we have our x plus 2, a plus b. And then we have our a squared minus a times b plus 2 squared, or b squared. If you want, you can simplify this, so that way it looks a little nicer. So we end with 5x times x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Take a moment and pause the video and try b. When you return to the video, the answer will be revealed below. Okay, so we have 8y cubed. That's the same as saying 2y cubed, because 2 to the third is 8. And then let's write this as a cube as well. So we have 27. That's the same as 3 cubed. Keep in mind, we're just going to kind of keep this sign in here right now. So we have our a minus b. Our a is 2y. Our b is 3. So 2y minus 3. And now we have our a squared, so 2y squared, and because it's the difference, the second one's going to be a plus plus. So plus 2y times 3, so a times b, plus 3 squared, or b squared, because that's our b value. Now we simply simplify. So we have 2y minus 3, it stays 2y minus 3, 2y the quantity squared leaves you with 4y squared plus 6y, and then 9, 3 squared equals 9. So you have effectively factored that one. Let's look at an ecology application. The population of an endangered species of bird in the years since 1990 can be modeled by the function p of x equals negative x to the third plus 32x squared 
minus 224x plus 768. Identify the year that the bird will become extinct if the model is accurate and no protective measures are taken. So use the graph to factor P of X. Alright, so this point right here is at 24 since we're going up by threes each time. So we have 24 and we have negative 1, a positive 32, a negative 224, and a positive 768. So we have carried out our negative 1. 24 times negative 1 gives you negative 24. Leaves us with 8 when we add vertically. 24 times 8 is 192. Add vertically, that leaves you with negative 32. 24 times negative 32 is negative 768, which is 0. So if we write this out, we have p of x equals x minus 24 and times negative x squared plus 8x minus 32. So we have now effectively factored this. And that also ends our lesson on factoring polynomials.